it's 8.04, or at least that's what the clock says. By the time the light from those numbers reaches your eyes, your brain processes the image and you actually notice it, it's no longer 8.04. Which means the present moment you think you're living in is always slightly in the past. So do we ever really experience now? Research show that brains take about 50 to 100 milliseconds to integrate what's happening into a conscious experience. This is because our senses don't all work at the same speed. Light, sound and touch input reach our brains at different times. So our brains hold onto them for just a fraction of a second, wait for all the pieces to arrive, and then stitch them together into what feels like a flowing, continuous now. You're basically watching a movie your brain is producing in real time, but always a little behind reality. Neuroscience shows that this movie making relies on many systems at once. Instead of a single clock, multiple brain regions work together to keep track of timing intervals. Dopamine modulates these circuits, influencing whether time feels like it's speeding up or slowing down. When you're bored, your brain encodes fewer distinct events and time drags. But when you're excited or flooded with dopamine, your internal clock speeds up and time flies. But there's a deeper twist. Some philosophers argue that you never really experience time itself at all. The past exists only in memory, the future only in imagination, and both happen right here in awareness. What we experience as the present isn't necessarily a point moving forward on a line. It could simply be the stage where every memory, thought, and sensation gets stitched together.